Konnichiwa! Today, we'll be reviewing the Makoto swimsuit version, Figma 112 scale. I uh, use the air quotes because Figma's 112 is a little small, but you'll see, you'll see. I'm getting ahead of myself. But yes, this is from, uh, I believe, an anime or manga. I'm not too sure which one. Forgive me. Um, yeah, I mostly just got these because of the... Um, female bodies are really hard to come by you know I'm sure a lot of you might be watching this thinking oh you know I'm unfamiliar with this you know a lot of people are on the hunt for good female 112 scale bodies because there's basically none I don't know I mean there's not none but there's just a lot of they don't come with great articulation you know what I mean it's uh there's a lot of female figures out there but they don't have the greatest articulation so people are looking to customize and you know, I'm going to make customs out of these, so I figured, let me give these a shot. They're pretty neat. They're, uh, they're unfortunately really, really small, but uh, as you can see, they're um, really cute and adorable. Um, this will be kind of a quicker review, but you can check her out there. She comes with this little rubbery shirt that I'm not too crazy about. I actually ripped it in the back there trying to get it over her. So be careful when you're doing that. As you can see, it's supposed to be like that, so her peg is visible, but I accidentally uh, yanked this too uh, too hard, kind of pulling it over her body, and uh, as you can see, but I'm not too crazy about it. It's like this rubber, rubbery material, and I get, I like what they, I get the, I like the creativity behind it. Don't get me wrong. I do like the creativity behind it. It's just, um, I don't like the feel of the material, the rubbery material. Obviously, it's a little cheap. I busted it. And, uh, yeah, tell me, I mean, rubber, I guess rubber is, is rubber really cheaper than cloth goods? I mean, to get this look is kind of hard to do, but I feel like they can do it. You'll see another example of some of their cloth good figures that have same swimsuit um, line, I guess you could say. But, uh, let me check out her feet. But yeah, let's, um, we'll get right into our, her articulation with the shirt on and then I'll kind of show other ones and we'll kind of mix, mix and match. We'll get into it. So, normal Figma ponytail moves. Hold her head still there. So you can see it kind of great amount of expression, you know, side to side. I mean, whoops, so much down her face pops off, but down enough so you don't pop her face plate off but see that there not uh no ugly gapage really i mean everything looks really great she could look up a great deal even with a ponytail you know i mean that doesn't look too great but at least she can look up with a ponytail usually as i was saying about other female figures if they have hair it's usually sculpted and you can't look up at all so this is definitely a plus she doesn't come with another neck um joint in there i thought uh she did but unfortunately it doesn't but as you can see she gets plenty of uh great range the arms even with this rubber uh shirt on you know i guess that one's kind of pulling it down but whoops there goes her face <laughs> or her hair i should say yeah mine's a little doesn't stay on too great. I don't know what's going on there. It really stays on fine, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, there's a bicep swivel in there. I mean, you'll see. Whoops. See, it's in there, and uh, yeah, I'll take her apart because you have to take her apart to uh, take her uh, shirt off here. So uh, you'll see. I'm gonna do with that. We'll play dress up. <laughs> but I guess that's single jointed, but it gets the appropriate amount of range. I mean, you, you try doing that pose, you can't really get too much deeper than that. I mean, your wrist can't really touch your shoulder unless you, uh, yeah, so that's kind of, that's realistic. So that's good. Wrist swivel, it's great. Ab joint, she has the perfect, she has the cut under, um, the breast there and then again at the waist so oh man her face yeah i guess was that me this time or huh gonna have to rewind the video and 
check that out or did she just the face just pop off but goodness that's annoying it wasn't popping off that much when i was messing with her maybe i'm just doing something so i'm worried about showing you the articulation but yeah definitely there and then the waist as i was saying so she gets her, her hands are like crazy but with both she gets decent range she gets quite a bow there you know so can't complain pretty decent legs kick up all the way they sculpted more of a buttocks in there so you know she kind of has a cheek coming out so it looks realistic single jointed leg but gets a decent bend you know realistic poses you know i'm really just messing with her and it's you know looks fine looks realistic her ankles pretty decent Yeah, not McGregor range, but can't complain. Wow, really nice forward, like swimming or kick. Yeah, not too bad. Oops, that was me this time. All right, let's compare her to a couple of her sisters, I guess you could say, just other swimsuit figures of the same line that I kind of just opened them all, all at once. This figure's been delayed for so long, finally glad to get her in hand, but having a few issues with her, which is very disappointing. I don't mind waiting a long time for a figure, but getting it and then it has issues is definitely disappointing. Here's a uh, Chiaki swimsuit, and she comes with the uh, same articulation, same face, um, not faces, but design, so you can kind of swap them, which is really cool. Figma, they're a little different. I'll bring in other ones, and you'll see um, they all don't match, but the swimsuit ones are all interchangeable, kind of like a Valiverse figure, you know what I mean? So you can swap out parts, heads, faces, outfits, everything. Uh, we'll do a little bit, you'll see. But yeah, she's great, same articulation, but more interesting is her... her um, towel or wrap i guess you could say which is different it's not rubbery it's a hard plastic so and this figure came out before this one this one's the newest figure this one came out and then the next one i'll show you semi-new but she's definitely makoto's the definitely the uh, the newest but yeah you can see here it just pops out there it's a nice hard plastic and yeah she's got a little bikini in there which is uh nice but that as you can see that's like her bikini bottoms makes up her um <laughs> pelvic pelvis area <laughs> i mean she doesn't have one it's basically just uh as you can see in there a joint like a weird skeleton i mean from behind it looks good but uh i mean i guess it, it, it works it's fine it's just a little <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say lazy. I mean, it's going to give you the range you need. I mean, she should be able to do it. Yeah, I mean. Oh, ugly gap. Ugly gap in the back. Terrible. So you get one without the other. It'll look good uh, in the front if you pose it, but not in the back. Pose it nice in the back. I guess it works forward. Well, maybe eh, a lot of gapage, but... Yes, yeah, she's very cheeky. <laughs> very cheeky. So yeah, let me uh, pop that back in there. Right, we'll put this on her, don't worry. I just got one more figure to pop in before we do the... We'll do comparisons and then we'll do mix and match. So there's number two there. Let me straighten her head out. I'm nervous her face is going to pop off. Uh, nothing a little piece of paper or something can't fix. And finally, here's uh, Emily. She's an older figure, but this is this cloth version's the newest one. Again, same body. Uh, sorry for the upskirt, but uh, yeah, same, same as Chiaki, I believe. 
Well, this isn't really a bikini. I mean, it is, but not a thong bikini, I should say. But yeah, there you go. Same, same thing. They use the her underwear as a pelvis, which is uh, cheating. <laughs> yeah, she comes with interchangeable. Well, she comes with all these. This outfit, the hoodie and the uh, skirt, which is cool. She comes with these shoes, sneakers that just pop right off and on. Here, I'll show you. Just boom, and then you could put her barefoot in there, or just whatever. And yeah, treads. Very nice. Can't complain. Let's get her a little bit more neutral in there. And going back to Makoto. I mean, other than what they all have, they all come with hands, but this is Makoto's review, technically, so, uh, here are her hands, she comes with, uh, I don't know, the, in the, in the pictures of the box, she's playing, vo like, volleyball poses, so, you know, she's got fists for that, gripping hands to hold, uh, something, and then, uh, relaxed hands, and then more open, kind of action hands. Yeah, and then uh, the Figma bag, so not too much, but they're also not too expensive. They're also in the uh, $40 range, I guess you could say, is uh, is fair. But uh, let's get on to comparisons, and uh, so you'll see what I'm talking about. Here's uh, the blank body, which I got just a post in her neck there. But it's all Figma. This isn't a swimsuit, it's just a Figma blank. But I just put that in there because I don't have an extra head sculpt and it keeps the uh, hole from shrinking because Figma bodies are very fickle. They can, uh, in extreme weather, hot, extreme cold, it'll, um, you know, tighten and expand and contrast. So, you know, you got to keep that right. But there's an, just keep it in the Figma family. And then the other, only other Figma I have out is Kusanagi. With, I gave her a cloth goods jacket because her arm peg and her jacket that came with it broke. But I prefer the cloth goods on them anyway. I think look look a lot better. But unfortunately, Kusanagi's head, even the head sculpt or the faces, obviously you can kind of see. I'll show you when I pop them off. Won't really fit on the other uh, faces, so I can't really like change her hair out or put her face on you know, that head with that hair, you know, so to speak. I can with these, but not with an off any Figma from any other brand or line, I guess you could say. But you can see the nice comparison Figma, at least it's all in the same family. But let me bring in, let's go, I guess I'll go really big and I'm working my way down. Here's McFarlane, Superwoman. As you can see, she's like <laughs> an Amazon, she's giant. Pop her on this side. I may have to hold her because uh, she's going to take everybody out if I let her go. Yeah. Yeah, she's huge. It's like uh, Land of the Giants. So as, as you can see, it won't work with McFarlane. Let's get uh, NECA in here. Whoops. Let's do April O'Neil, who I have to hold because she doesn't stand whatsoever. As you can see, another Valley of the Giants. <laughs> Amazonia. Where's um, Wonder Woman from? There are there are Miskia. There are Mis Miseria. It's a long word, <laughs> but anyways. So yeah, as you can see, very very tiny. Um, hmm, I don't really have any Mezco females out. Here's a Marvel Legend. We should be able to stand. Thena and Angelina, <laughs> Angelina Jolie, whatever from Eternals, Marvel. Here's um, Natalie Portman and Matilda on the damn toys body. It's technically a male body, not a female body. That's why it's a little on the muscular side, more muscular side, I should say. But. Uh, She's an assassin. She runs a lot, obviously. She'd have muscle tone assassins. They always have perfect bodies. <laughs> they have to be in shape. But yeah, let's pop her out. Let's, uh... 
Here, let's pop in Ahsoka and do all female. <laughs> She's got her cloak on, but you can see the top of her head there. Let's pop some of these out so you can get a better look and I could bring in more figures. Here's Ahsoka. Oops, knocked the light there. That's damn toys. Here's a uh, Fison, but she does have high heel boots on, so she's gonna be a little tall. But she would be, hmm, maybe. I'm knocking everything over. Uh, so you can see from the foot there. Maybe a, a hair t a shorter. Um, hmm. Let's move Ahsoka real quick. Let's put her, let's get Kusanagi out of here. Let's get an accurate look here. Let's bring it on this side. There, so minus the boots. I mean, eh, so that's Fison. And if you're looking for atomically correct, Fison's definitely the way you, you want to go, but it, again, it does have that rubbery, bendy fig feel. I'll leave her in there. Let's, uh, I think I got one more female. We'll go Figure Arts, SH Figure Arts by Bandai, different company, Sakura. So yeah, that, they work a little bit better if you're staying with the uh, overseas import figures they tend to run a little smaller here's a uh, Naruto but then let's put in Gohan some Gohan I mean he's a big guy but let's swing Naruto out let's put in this James Bond I, I like, the DID. So he's the same as the like the PC Toys range kind of scale. DID, James Bond there. So yeah, they're a little small, but uh, it could work, it can work. Here's Figure Arts, Boba Fett. Let's get soccer out. Who's yelling? But yeah. Oops. Don't knock the background, Boba Fett. Oh, bang zoom. Here's a. Uh, let's move Mr. Bond out of there. See, so yeah, um, they're a little short for Boba Fett. I don't know. And that's a figure arts too, you know what I mean? So, oh wow, I can't grab this figure. It's gonna knock everything else over. All right, let's, um, ooh, I got one right here. Let's put in a Valiverse. He's on a stand, yes, but as you can see, it's like a G.I. Joe height, the Hasbro six inch classified G.I. Joe. So you can kind of just get an idea how small they are, <laughs> honestly. Here's the uh, Nardo, Target exclusive, Bandai. No one knows too much about them. How you can find them, but yeah, they're a Target. Um, maybe one more, two more. And Deadpool, Figure Arts. So yeah, he'd have uh, a lot of fun. Actually, let's put in an extra figure here. The, he's on a V-Toys body. Just to get all the different bodies in there, all the different brands, everybody gets a, just to show how these work in these scale. Oops, oh my goodness, Avalanche, Deadpool, of course, knocking your head off. His head does not stay on, as you can see. <laughs> Let's put in Mezco. It's the Mezco uh, Krig 
yellow hornet Krig as I uh, pick up some figures here that got avalanched on me. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. All the way into Logan. Um, actually, yeah, let me grab. I guess he was reminding me. Let's move out. Thing. I know I said a couple more, but I just keep finding stuff here. And here's Noda Studios. So yeah, they're great figures. They work with a decent amount. But as you can see at the end of the day, they're just a little bit too small if that's what we work for. They work for the customs I have in mind. But uh, if you're thinking about using them for, I don't know, anything else, <laughs> it's not really uh, not really going to work. But let me, uh, you know, let's kind of mix and match here. Let's start from the, the top down. So yeah, faceplate comes off, faceplate, so as you can see, nope the size and shape yeah, let's put her because I'm going to be like juggling figures here pop her face plate off her thing a little different pop that off again so you can see pretty much the same so now this is Chiaki face on Makoto head It works perfect actually brightens her up a little bit brighter those eyes and the eyebrows work believe it or not so hey that works not too bad and does it go the other way should perfect Well, eyebrows don't match, but about this way. A little bit, yeah, not too bad. Not bad, but that's uh, that's a good thing that I like about it. Here, let's pop this thing off. Her cover up. Back there. Let's put that. Knocking everything out of here. Let's go up a little bit. Oh, it's catching the shirt in the back. I think it's going to work. Oh. Peg doesn't quite want to sting in there. I if I, oh, uh, there it goes. <laughs> That's alright. I'm going to switch her with uh, Emily next. I just can't. There we go. Alright. Faceless, faceless woman. Alright, you stay down there for a minute. Emily. Will it work? Yes. It's Jackie's face, right? Yes, it is. Not bad. Gives her a little bit more attitude. All right, one final. Totally changes her up. Chucky might have the best face there. I'm gonna have to look into <laughs> other faces. But yeah, pretty cool. I mean, if you want to get the uh, get them as is, you know, mess around with them, they're pretty fun. I got I gotta say, I'm having uh, more fun than I thought I would. Whoops, cover your shame, woman. I'm sorry, ladies. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 
we're all adults here, right? Anyways, hope you enjoyed the review. It's been uh, interesting. It's been different. These ladies have been fun. I should get Deadpool back in here. But uh, yes, hope you enjoyed. Sayonara!